Hello chess lovers, Sonnen here and in today's video I want to share with you another fierce attacking game played by the 8th world chess champion Mikhail Tal. His opponent is Walter Robert Chandler and this game Tal played during a 27 board simul which he played in 1974 in Notiash, an area in Liverpool. In the game Tal had white pieces and he opened up with e4 to switch Chandler answered with d5. Scandinavian defense is on the board, one of the oldest known chess openings and what is interesting in the first recorded game is the oldest known game which was played in 1475. This is the opening which was played. I have already covered that game and in case you missed it the link I will pin in the comment section. E takes d5, yes, and by the way, the reason for choosing this game is that I see that more and more people are checking out my playlist of Scandinavian defense games, and uh, yeah, that was the reason that I decided to stop on this one today. Looks like that nowadays this opening is becoming very popular, especially in online games, Scandinavian can be seen frequently, and one of the possible reasons is that, unlike many other openings, it requires less theoretical knowledge. Anyways, uh, let's proceed with the game while I was talking. I kept on making moves, nothing special, both players are hurrying to uh, develop their pieces, and we see bishop takes c3, and I actually see no reason of going for an exchange on c3. Um, instead black could just go for castling straight away. After castling we see bishop g5 and rook e8. Well, better was to play c5 under my white, white center. Rook e8 was made with knight e5, knight f8. Uh, well, we can see that Mr. Chandler is playing really very passively, while now Mikhail Tal will punish him severely c5. Rook a d1, although going for f5 was also possible. Rook a d1 was made by Tal, queen d6, f5. Yeah, already there are serious problems in black's camp. Knight d5, and there followed. Okay, please pause the video and try to find Tal's next move. Uh, ready? Here we go! Everything is ready to land the heavy punch and Tal went for it. Knight takes f7, a move which just asks itself to be played. The sacrifice was accepted and we have a double check. King goes back on g8, e7. Yeah, Tal's pawn went too far right. The pawn is already on the 7th rank. Knight e6 and d takes c5. Well, according to Stockfish, queen f3 is stronger, it allows white to win faster. If knight f6, then rook e1, and then uh, bishop takes f6 can follow, and yeah, this is going to be a destructive attack. Instead, in the game, we see d takes c5, uh, queen takes c5, check king h1, knight takes c3. Uh, not the best continuation. Leg could put a tough resistance by going for knight takes e7. Of course, even in this case, white is maintaining advantage, but unlike the line we see in our game, black would not get crushed in such a severe way. Yeah, black is really managing to put a tough defense. Instead, in the game after king h1, we see knight takes c3 and Another bloodthirsty move by Tal. Here we go, rook d8. The queen is untouchable because of rook takes e8 checkmate. A very, very aggressive move. Right, guys, rook d8. I really like this. Uh, bishop d7 was black's answer in order to neutralize the threat, connected the rooks, but... Tal just insisted on sacrificing his queen and he played queen e5. Uh, yeah, I really like this crazy move, guys. Uh, the idea is to lure away black queen from this diagonal and go for rook f8 check. Uh, now if uh, queen b4, then just bishop takes e6 check. Yeah, and actually instead of playing queen e5, bishop takes e6 straight away was also playable, but 
Tal decided to make a queen sacrifice in this game. Finally, Black accepted the queen sacrifice and resigned after rook f8 check. If rook takes f8, then e takes f8. Let's go for a rook and a checkmate will appear on the board. That's why this point resignation followed. Yeah, very nice attack by Mikhail Tal, which I hope that you enjoyed greatly. Another queen sacrifice which destroyed opponent's defense. In the end, another chess puzzle for you where the task is to win with the black pieces. There is even a forced mate in four and as usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video.